Good morning, Lego fans. Welcome to a very special Mott Roundup. Uh, if it's not obvious to you right now, today's Mott is actually based on the classic space theme, which ran from 1978 to 87. And uh, as per a poll that Lego put out for its 90th anniversary, it's apparently one of the more popular themes uh, that Leto's ever produced. So there you go. Um, and so I guess to jump on the bandwagon, I thought I'd share with you one of my older mocks that I had made, oh geez, uh, about two years ago, uh, back in, uh, oh god, was that 2018? Oh, it's been, it felt so long ago. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, this is one of my very first mocks when I was just getting into building something unique out of spare parts and whatnot. Uh, ultimately, it became a its own unique little device. Uh, I, I kind of uh, it used a bunch of my gray and random uh, space parts that I had accumulated at the time uh, to create this thing that I like to call the terrestrial ecological device, or TED. Uh, simply put, uh, it's a a little device that uh, rolls over craters and whatnot to smooth them out and uh, make places like uh, uh, landing pads and buildings more feasible on planetoid and other surfaces. It's a it's also a computer and uh, it's got all kinds of things. So uh, without further ado, let's just get right on into it. And here we go. Here's Ted, driven by Spaceman Spiff, my favorite Spaceman figure. Uh, basically, we go on to all kinds of adventures together, don't we, buddy? That's right. Uh, but yeah, this is a basically a giant supercomputer on wheels, giant box on wheels, ultimately. Uh, with all kinds of weird space things thrown in there for good measure. Uh, but ultimately, I started off with this side. Uh, I was trying to build a reel-to-reel -reel for my theater, uh, but ultimately it looked more like a face to me, and I just kind of rolled with it. Um, but yeah, I did some more some accenting uh, bricks behind there to further accent his mouth guard and whatnot, and uh, I tried my very best to uh, kind of mimic uh, goggles or glasses there to kind of give off the supercomputer vibe, you know. Uh, also, these crossbars prevent anything from falling off, anything from, you know, <laughs> breaking these things off because they're hard to find. Believe me, I only had only had a couple, um, and they fell off all the time while I was trying to build the, build the rest of this thing. So that was more of a, uh, a thing that fell into the design afterwards. Thankfully, I had enough clips there. Um, yeah, looking on this side, uh, this is what I like to call the fidget spinner side. Um, basically, I only had these two gears, and what's more space than a bunch of gears? So I stuck it on the side, and I was happy with how it turned out, especially with how uh, it's able to cross-section this uh, kind of uh, safety uh, barrier here, just so that nothing uh, when it crashes into the side of the vehicle, nothing uh, really catches with uh, this bottom gear. At least that's the way I like to see it in uh, in the universe, you know. Um, but yeah, so why is it so square? Why is it so bulbous? Well, ultimately, it's hollow on the inside. I, I liked the idea that this vehicle was powered by something, specifically a brick that happened to be radioactive. So opening up the back hatch here, we can see this odd colored. Uh, kind of uh, turquoise blue, light blue, and at the time it was the only brick of this color that I had, and I really just wanted to preserve it. And so, what better thing to do than to just add it to uh, add it to a mock that I was making? You know, so that's why that's why I have this uh, uh, yellow arrow there to kind of point out where uh, where the fuel is supposed to go. You know, also this is a good point to uh, good, good spot to point out the differences in colors between the original gray color and the light light blue gray. Basically uh, after 2000 they decided to upgrade the gray color into more of a kind of naturalistic gray color um, for the space uh, for the Star Wars sets. Um, so yeah uh, all the old colors basically just look like um, well, they just look kind of faded you know it doesn't really detract from this overall mock but I, I enjoy the flair that is able to give give it the original flair you know. Uh, but yeah so basically uh, going around the side here, um, we can see that we have a couple more of the classic space uh, logos going on. This is for when Sp uh, Spiff goes on to a uh, alien planet and decides to claim it for his own uh, or uh, for his uh, for his space program. I don't know. Maybe he does it for himself, or maybe he just uh, is a freelancer. I'm not. I'm not sure. I haven't really worked that out. He's just a cool little space guy. Anyway, on the side here is a way for him to get up into his little cockpit, a way for him to turn on the vehicle. Nice little switch here, a little ball joint. I'm not sure what you would use this part for. Maybe it's a, a connector for a, something else, but I don't know. It worked out there. Kind of gives you that uh, satisfaction of turning on and turning off something. I enjoyed it. Whatever. 
Um, also, this is a very tactically uh, satisfying side right there. I just love these classic ladders here. They're just really cool. Um, and if we take Spiff out of the top here, we can actually look at the cockpit. Uh, and it has a normal little steering wheel, the ever-present coffee cup, and a couple little, uh, a couple little gear, uh, a couple little, little, um, a couple gauges here on the side to show what uh, Space Man Spiff is really looking at when he's uh, traveling around the space, or when he's flattening out uh, uh, craters and whatnot. Um, oh, also, I forgot to point out the uh, the headdress here. This is actually a little uh, um, mini feeder headdress piece. Uh, it goes on. Uh, I believe it goes on um, uh, a couple of the pirates, but I decided to stick it back here as more of a uh, more of an exhaust fume than anything. I, I thought that was really a clever use of, of parts. Uh, and the little jumper panel here is uh, for Spiff when he wants to uh, uh, put his uh, air tank there. Um, I'm not really sure if that's really a smart idea to do and do out in space, but uh, there you go. Uh, that's basically it. That's my little mock in a nutshell. Um, just very simple but very complex. Simple in, in design, but complex in execution, I guess I should say. Uh, but yeah, if you'd like to see more of these mock things, um, please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, bye!